All right, we are back on the vlog. Things a bit different at the moment. Still training for CrossFit, still going for the games, my total end goal of the year each season. But myself, Tammy and the crew have all signed up for a High Rocks event. For those of you who don't know what High Rocks is, it's basically eight rounds for time of a one kilometer run followed by a functional fitness exercise. Ski erging, rowing, sled push, sled pull, farmers carry, lunges, wall balls, burpee, broad jumps. Uh, so there's one happening in Hong Kong next month that we signed up for. So our uh, training um, twice a week on a Tuesday and on a Saturday, our AM sessions are basically high rocks focused. So we're gonna start with some sled pushing, some sled pulling, um, and then get into some running intervals. Isn't that right, Skulky? So we're just doing a bit of skill work on the sleds at the moment. The guy's weight for the pro division will be 175 for the sled push. The sled pull will be 125. Tammy's weight will be 125 and 75 kg on top of the sled. Uh, sorry for the noise. It, it, it does move pretty easily on this concrete. Um, we're just trying out different forms of the pull. The pull's got a three meter gap. You can kind of walk back and forth in and then the push we're just going 12 and a half meters, which is what it's going to be on the day, 50 meters at a time. So you go four lengths of a 12 and a half meter. Teamwork makes the dream work. Get it moving. Imagine you're moving to cattle in Calcutta. Oh, you're going to hit the rubber. Oh. All right, now we've done some skill work on the sleds. We're now going to put a little bit of fatigue into it. So we're going to, every seven minutes, we're going to do a 1K run, uh, followed by just 12 and a half meters of one of these two, and then rest the remainder of the time every seven minutes. So I'll be running about a, just about a four minute 1K each time. How are we all feeling, guys? All ready to go? Yeah. Okay! Go! in your run? What? By far the worst part of all this <laughs> is I'm going to put all of it back. But bloody good session with the team. Plenty of running, plenty of side pulling and pushing. On this weekend we'll do the full eight kilometers running and pretty much the full event. So a little bit less volume this week, today and then more on the weekend. So we're just going on a team walk out to the waterfront where we do our run. It's really nice out here and we have Mr. Karan Sanjeev. So Karan's goal for the Open this year is to finish top 10 in India. And hopefully that will land him in the top 10% in Asia to qualify for the quarterfinals. So, Karan. Yeah. Since starting at Coastal Fitness, as, a, as an athlete, not as a coach, yeah. what's the biggest, the, the thing you've realized, or like the big, been the biggest like realization for you trying to qualify 
to the quarterfinals or top 15 in India? Um, I think CrossFit is, has so many different aspects and you've got to keep working um, so many different skills. Um, it's not just training hard, you've got to train smart as well, something that I'm still learning. Yeah. Um, and I also realized that when I was just a member, I was uh, working a 9 to 6 and that didn't allow me to train twice a day, recover sufficiently enough. Not that I'm recovering the best now, but it's definitely much better than when I was working a full-time um, or a 9 to 6 job. Being at the gym, working as a coach, it allows me to train with the team and then train with you and Skulk and Tammy in the PM as well, which gives me just more frequency to train the various different aspects of the sport or different disciplines of the sport. Um, and then just, yeah, just working the skill because um, I feel like skill and strategy uh, will go a long way in allowing me to make the quarters and uh, make top in India. Uh, so just, so just, what I'm hearing, if I'm interrupting you, yeah. what I'm hearing is that you didn't realize how much time and how much effort actually takes to be at that sort of level. 100%, yeah. When I first had the goal, um, I didn't know how much um, time and discipline and effort it would take. Um, of course, I just put this audacious goal out there, just way out of my... It's still very, very far away, but I'm much closer to it than I was when I first started. It's still very far, but now I have a better understanding of what it takes and what I need to do. Um, and I'm excited for the road ahead. So how come in this beautiful weather, you got these arm sleeves on. Nah, uh, it's just uh, your demons and your and your insecurities. Um, stuff that I'm going to share again. You got jacked arms. Half of your sleeves are a bit baggy at the moment, but your arms are jacked. <laughs> no you got, comments. You got a good bicep vein, bro. Thank you. <laughs> he has strict, he has strict sleeve hours. Before 5 a.m., no sleeves allowed. From 5 a.m. to 8 p.m., sleeves only. After 8 p.m., no sleeves allowed. 5 p.m. Baby, we're going full weight stack. Not like that.
So as you guys can see, myself and Tammy are still training really hard for CrossFit and that CrossFit is still the uh, the end goal for essentially me, uh, maybe Tammy. Uh, I'm not sure what she wants to do over the season. Um, but we are both definitely going to be throwing um, all of our effort into trying to win this Hong Kong High Rocks. Um, we have no idea who the competition is, anyone that's going to be competing really against us. So, um, But I think we are quietly confident in ourselves. Uh, we put a lot of training into this over the last 12 weeks. Um, so let's see how we go. Um, I know one thing that I mentioned to Tammy before was the possibility of going team. Uh, and yeah, we are looking for another male and another female. So if it's not this year, maybe next year. Um, but onwards and upwards, next week is the High Rocks. Uh, we'll get another vlog up for then. See you later.